welcome. My name is Lauren. I'm a homeschooling mom of three. Today I'm going to share some of our Christmas books. I heard about this a few years ago. I'm not sure where from who or how I heard it, but it was um, basically you wrap up a Christmas book every day for the month of December and your children open one every day and you read it. And I thought that was such a cute idea. Now, I don't have 25 books right now. I have only done, I think the last two years I did it, um, 12 books. So I did like 12 days of Christmas, which was fine. So I don't think you have to necessarily go and get 25 books if you don't have that. But I do want to say, go check out my friend Emily's channel from A Woman on a Journey. I'm going to leave her channel below in my description so you can go ahead and check out her video as well as there was a whole collaboration of ladies who were sharing what they were doing their Christmas books and Christmas unit studies um, and so I'll leave that playlist below if you're trying to get ideas of like different Christmas books or you want to see the unit study um, but I just want to share some of our books I'm not going to share all of them but a few I honestly don't know how many of these are even like in print right now, um, but I'm sure you could find them on like thrifts, thrift books and things like that if you can't get them on Amazon. So first is the 12 days of Christmas, a celebration in history. So this just goes through each day, obviously showing the 12 days of Christmas, but it does so with like a, a classical art approach to it so it's a little bit different and then in the back of the book it actually literally gives the days of like how they picked two turtle doves and three french hens and so it's kind of interesting to see um the 12 lords of leaping and all of those how they chose that and it's pretty interesting because a lot of times it's like taken from the bible or from renaissance and medieval times so it is a uh, I thought it was pretty cool to see where they came up with all of these random leaping lords and milking maids and geese that are laying eggs. So now we're going to go on the completely opposite end of the spectrum and do elf pets, a St. Bernard tradition. This little guy is the elf on the shelf, as I'm sure you know. We kind of do him. I have a very cheap like dollar store knockoff version and I think he just sits in the same spot every like for the whole month of December he might move once or twice but so we're not super super into him but they love the elf on the shelf uh, little movies and my girls like to watch those so we got this and this is um, these pups have assembled to rescue the soul of the holiday season and save the North Pole so we have that one. Next is Are You Grumpy Santa? And the synopsis for this one is, no wonder Santa's grumpy. First the elves shrink his suit, then he's chased by a poodle, next he's stuck in a chimney, then he slips on a noodle. Will Santa ever find a way to make the grumpies disappear? Find out in this hilarious Christmas misadventure. Then we have, okay. <laughs> so don't like laugh. Um, this is Spot's first Christmas, and yes, I read it every single year because I've had this since my Larissa, who's now nine, since she was six months old, since her first Christmas, and I read it all the time. You can tell how much they have loved it. Um, this used to be a lift the flap book. All the flaps are gone, but I have it memorized so we know. I think we all have them as moms, those little books that are just completely torn to shreds, but Spot's Christmas is holds a dear, uh, a dear piece of my little heart. Then we have an Ellis Island Christmas. So this is a little bit different. We learned about Ellis Island towards the end of last year in our history. So my daughters are familiar with this, but I think it's really cool kind of to do a different variety of Christmas books. Um, so this one is coming from the perspective, it's obviously historical fiction, but it's coming from the perspective of, you know, immigrants and what that would look like, you know, a hundred, more than a hundred years ago coming over to America during this time. Then we have the good old classic, The Night Before Christmas. There's not much to say about this. Uh, I feel like I've, almost everybody probably owns a copy of The Night Before Christmas and there's a hundred different versions out there. So this one is just big, bright, colorful. I think we own, I think we own several versions of this as well, but this is the one that I really read out of the most. Then we have The Visit. 
So this is the delightful history and origin of the night before Christmas. So this is um, as recalled by Dingy Sharp, which is who's a storyteller and great great granddaughter of the author of Twas the Night Before Christmas. So this is the great great granddaughter of the person who wrote The Night Before Christmas. This is just pretty. It's got some interesting illustrations to it. It's kind of like more of a subdued, not super, super bright and colorful, but kind of like an old time vintage feel to it. So I thought this was pretty cool. I don't think we read it before. And so I think I think I got it this past year. I think at like a yard sale or something. So we're gonna read it, read it this year. If you have a Christmas tree shops around, they have really great deals their Christmas books are a little bit random. I'm not gonna lie. We have like one is like a Southern Christmas or something. We're not from the South, but uh, it's a very random, but their their books are like $1.50 for brand new books. And so we have the Doll People's Christmas. I got this one from there. It says, Annabelle Doll is excited to share the Doll family Christmas tradition with her best friend, Tiffany. But when everything goes wrong, it'll take true friendship and a little holiday magic to help Annabelle find her Christmas spirit. Then we have the Christmas Miracle of Jonathan Toomey. This one is really sweet. I really like this one. Jonathan Toomey is the best wood carver in the valley. He keeps to himself though and never smiles or laughs. One day in early winter, the, win the widow McDowell comes to call. Quiet request leads to a joyful miracle as the widow and her son gently warm the sad heart of Jonathan Toomey. This one is just really, really sweet. I love reading this one to my daughters as well and then lastly we have the nutcracker i feel like this is a classic i honestly have never seen the nutcracker in any way shape or form all i know about it is from reading this book i think i got it last year and so we'll read it again this year but i kind of do want to see some version of it in any way shape or form because i, I love the songs i know the songs i just don't I haven't seen the play so that is all I have. I have a few more, but you probably don't really care about those. You don't really want to see them. They're, it's just trust me. So Emily, her Christmas picture books are so cool. Much, much, much cooler than mine. Uh, I'm going to snag a few from her suggestions. She has really, really adorable Christmas picture books. So check out her video. And then she's also going to be sharing what unit study, Christmas unit study she's doing. And, um, it looks beautiful and I'm really, really tempted to get it myself. But go check out her video as well as the playlist below. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any good suggestions for Christmas books, Christmas picture books, please leave them down below. I love ours, but I really wanna grow our Christmas library. I could go to the library and rent books, but I want some that are just our own. So please leave suggestions of your favorite Christmas books. If it has amazing pictures, you get extra points because I'm all about the pictures almost more than the story. So thanks so much for watching. If you have not already done so, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. You can also hit the no little notification bell and it will tell you whenever I post a new video. So thanks again. Until next time, see you later. Thank you.